Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, my name is David. Um, I am running tonight a session of Void Heart Symphony. Um, Void Heart Symphony is a Powered by the Apocalypse game uh, wherein um, uh, characters in a in a um, living in a dark and oppressive city fight back against the the people in power um, by entering um, a um, an alternate realm known as the castle where the, um, the, the the people in power in the city draw power and influence from um, in order to take back some of that power and try and make the city uh, a better place. Um, this is a game by uh, uh, Mina McJander of um, UFO Press. Um, the game is currently um, in um, nearing the end, I believe, of sort of beta processes. Um, there, um, it's available on um, itch.io. Um, if you are interested in checking it out, uh, you can pick up the the, the beta rules, which. Um, uh, as I, said, I think, I think the beta rules are now up to version 0 0.8. Uh, we are still running using the uh, version 0 0.6 rules just to avoid um, uh, changing partway through our, our sessions. Um, uh, with this game, it's being run as part of the Gauntlet. Uh, Gauntlet is an online uh, gaming group. Um, we have a monthly gaming calendar uh, where we put up sessions for games like this one. Um, you can um, you can sign up for games um, uh, freely. The, the, the um, spaces are open to all. Uh, there is an advanced sort of sign up uh, option which um, uh, um, you can gain access to by joining the Patreon. Um, but you do not need to do so in order to play games with us. Uh, we also, in particular, have sort of about quarterly um, uh, open gaming sessions where we explicitly go out of our way to put on games to to bring in new people. Uh, if um, if you're interested in finding out more about what we do, um, you can check out our website at gauntlet-rpg.com. Um, there's a link to that down in the uh, in the in the comments below, um, as uh, as well as the the actual gaming we do like this. Uh, we also have a monthly gaming zine called Codex, uh, which again you can you can either get by uh, uh, th through being through Patreon membership or um, um, pick up back copies on Drive Through RPG. Um, and we have a, um, a series of podcasts um, uh, available. Um, so do check out any of that stuff if you are interested. Uh, so um, with that said, um, I am going to um, ask, uh, ask our players to introduce themselves, um, tell us, uh, well, uh, you know, introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about the, uh, the character that they're playing um, in our session tonight. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think we'll go in character keeper order as ever. So, um, uh, Treb, if you would like to, uh, to start. Hi, I'm Treb. I use he, them pronouns, and I'm playing Katie Schultz, uh, who is a former teen actress uh, known for a popular urban fantasy show. Uh, uh, who has been out of acting for a few years and is trying to get back in uh, with a hospital gig, a hospital uh, drama gig, and uh, is is now apparently in an actual urban fantasy story. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, next, um, uh, Anders, if you'd like to uh, uh, introduce yourself and tell us about who uh, who you're playing. Yes, hello, I'm Andesh, uh, he, him. I'm playing Harley, who is a janitor at the hospital, but doesn't spend as much time as he should doing his actual job, uh, preferring to um, make things, make, pe make sure people are having uh, a nice time and things are, are going smoothly for them. Um, Brilliant, thank you. Um, and uh, next, um, Sabine, um, um, uh, if you'd like to uh, to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name's Sabine. I use any pronouns, and I'm going to play Lucid. I use the them pronouns. Lucid is uh, uses the Inhuman playbook, and Lucid is a dream, basically. Lucid came to into existence somewhere in the castle, the um, parallel reality. Um, they're a dream of freedom and curiosity and hope. 
Um, they don't know who dream, who dreamt them, but maybe they'll find out. And as long as they are independent, they will just run around and have fun and um, fight evil because that evil is bad. Give, her, give them a bad feeling. So fight it if it's necessary. Fight is not their strengths, but you know. Excellent, thank you. Um, and I'm just going to check in with Brandon. Uh, hey, Brandon, if you'd like to introduce yourself, tell us about uh, who uh, who you're playing tonight. Absolutely. Um, hi, my name is Brandon. Yeah. Um, I'm playing Joe Casta Sheer, who is um, uh, who is dead and is a captive of the uh, the castle where the um, the bad people have their collective uh, power bases. Um, uh, she was uh, killed by by violence by a minion of one of the bad people that we are fighting against, um, and she is very angry about that and has feels that she has unfinished business. Um, I mean, that's the reason that she has uh, joined the struggle. Um, she had extraordinarily vivid dreams during the time between the time she was dead. And the time that she um, came back to this world as a, a ghostly presence. And um, one of the things she's wondering is whether she dreamed up Lucid um, or not. Um, because Lucid certainly the means by which she came back to uh, this reality. Awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, um, last time uh, we... Um, got to see a bit of um, uh, our um, uh, our characters um, in, back in the in the real world, and we'll be continuing uh, continuing with that certainly at the outset of our session today. Um, so I will just very briefly uh, recap over um, how, how sort of the 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 the, the day to day um, actions work back in the real world. Um, each. Um, um, each of you gets two actions per day um, to uh, to take um, uh, to take back in the real world. Um, these have to be, um, or rather, I should say, uh, and the, the, all of this information, uh, this overview information, by the way, is on the first page of the um, playbook sheets. Oh, I haven't put links to stuff in chat. I will do so now um, while I still think about it. Um, so the Um, our, our shared folder with all the bits and pieces in it um, is here. Um, character Keeper. Um, and our dice room. Cool. Yeah. So um, uh, the um, as I said, the uh, yeah, this is on the, the, these bits are on the first page of our um, uh, rules thing under the investigation. So yeah, each day um, every rebel can perform uh, either two mundane actions or one mundane and one shadow action. Um, the shadow actions are either to do investigations in the city, where we just kind of get into to, to role play with that and and do some of the investigation moves, um, or to enter the castle um, to explore there. Um, I believe most. Uh, I believe last time most uh, characters um, did um, uh, did use their shadow action for the first day. Um, uh, I think the only exception to that was Jocasta, um, who who did um, who, who the action where the action they took was was more of a, a mundane action. Um, every, so every day you can either perform two mundane actions or one mundane and one shadow action. Um, so so what we'll be focusing on today, primarily for our characters, um, are, is the uh, other mundane actions that they'll be taking at, at the outset. Um, we'll then move on to the next day and then see where you want to go from there. You may decide at that point that you. You want to, to jump straight into the castle and see what you can find there, um, or you may want to continue doing stuff outside um, uh, outside in the city. Um, either of those is good, and either of those uh, we can do. Um, 
I will also actually, uh, I'll just quickly mention um, this now because I think it might help um, help you to think the sort of um, in in terms of of the sort of things that you might want to look at look towards doing. Um, so when you get into the um, into the, the the castle itself, there's various bits and pieces. Oops, we just got uh, Brandon back. I think cool. Um, so yeah, there's um, there's various bits and pieces that we can um, uh, that we can do um, when we uh, when we get into the castle. Um, it's a place to sort of explore, encounter dangers, overcome perils, and find out information. Um, the ultimate. Oh, hey, Brandon. <laughs> Hello. Hey, cool. Uh, yes. So um, ultimately, the the aim of the um, of the um, entering the castle um, is to um, break the vassal who you're you're investigating's um, hold over their power there, so that you can confront them. And ultimately, um, uh, you know, break their break their link with the castle entirely. Um, the there is a specific move that is used when you want to do that. Basically, break their control and have the final showdown. Uh, this is called um, lift the mask. Uh, this is under exploration moves on page four of the PDF. Um, we, we, this is obviously not something that's relevant right now, but, but what you need to do for this will kind of give you some guidance. So lift the mask is rolled in a slightly different way. Um, you basically gather dice uh, based on, on various things that you, you have done up until this point. Um, there are up to six things, so you can be rolling up to six dice, and you only ever take the, the highest two. For anyone who's familiar with Blades in the Dark, it's a bit like how you do sort of some of the rolls in that. Um, um, the 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 way that this this works um, is is for each of these statements that is true, you get to roll a dice. Um, so if you've confronted the vassal in person in the city, you get a dice. If you've uncovered the full details of what they're planning, you get a dice. Um, if you've met people that the vassal holds dear, um, then you gain a dice. Um, that's often something that you'll find out about from their their from from exploring their their their, their ward in the castle, but then visit them back in the real world. Um, you've defeated at least one of their enforcers, who are essentially the 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 most powerful of their servants that you meet in the castle. Um, if your mundane self has suffered at their orders or hands, so if they've actually done something to affect you in the real world. Um, or if there is organized resistance to the vassal amongst the city's people. So those are the ways that you get dice for that lift the mask roll. Obviously, you want to be able to roll with at least two of those, otherwise you, you, you cannot possibly gain a, a seven plus uh, result. Um, but the, so those are the sort of things that kind of, from in, in the perspective of the, of the game itself, those are the sort of things you want to be able to kind of um, work towards finding out. Those are the sort of information you want to get on the vassal, how to, how to sort of interact with them. And I think, so I'm just sort of introducing that now. So you've kind of got an idea of what sort of things you might want to, to start aiming towards, um, essentially. Um, because yes, once you're able to, to make that roll, you can then force the, the vassal into a confrontation. The, the, the better you roll, the more favorable the terms on which you will meet them. Um, uh, so yeah, that is, that is how that particular mechanic works. But as I said, for the time being, um, we will be, we are still back in, in, the, in the real world. Um, the, um, last, last time you'd mostly been um, doing some investigation around the university research labs into uh, Dr. Anton Lefebvre, who has been um, uh, conducting um, um, un unethical medical experimentation um, on some of, particularly on some of the uh, the older um, patients in the hospital, um, you've you've done a little bit of investigation into him. Um, you've discovered that he has been um, he is is investigating um, some um, uh, some um, like uh, life um, life enhancing, life extending, um, however you want to call it. Um, uh, drugs um, in um, 
under the uh, under the backing of a medtech startup called uh, um, uh, called Grail Technologies. Um, the um, and last we saw, yeah, they they they, they um, I believe um, uh, we'd seen um, uh, we'd seen Katie, um, Katie uh, Lucid and Jacasta um, uh, working with one another to um, investigate um, at the research labs um, at the university um, while. Um, uh, Harley had been um, surveilling um, uh, Dr. Lefebvre at the hospital um, where he was recruiting um, subjects for his experiments. Um, but as I said, we're, we're now going to look at, for, for, for the majority of characters, um, uh, more mundane actions now. Um, so uh, I'll just go very briefly over the again the mundane actions um you the, the the mundane actions that you have available to you um are nine to five which is when you 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 basically do 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 some work however you choose to define that um and this is in particular useful if you have a crisis that you need to solve um you can work towards um resolving that crisis um let your hair down is basically you know um chilling out having having a good time doing something um uh to to, to relax and unwind um this generally um this this helps you to heal it both helps you to to get build up your connection with the real world and um also heal any conditions you might have or heal a condition you might have uh with some other potential bonuses uh, you have check-in where you can hang out with a covenant and tri trigger their covenant move. If you choose to hang out with another player character, then you um, then you trigger each other's covenant moves. Um, uh, yeah, each other's hangout moves, um, and that those those are essentially the are um, um, the the mundane moves that you can take. Um, there's a couple of other things that might come up that aren't, aren't relevant right at this moment. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm going to ask, um, does anyone uh, does anyone have an idea um, of what their character is is going to uh, going to do? Well, as I recall, um, some of us were going to go down to the art exhibition at that uh, that shared space that's also the black box and take and we had uh, wanted to talk with one of the assistants yeah that's um, that dr Lef that was in dr the fever's lab and yeah that uh, is right um uh josh coldwell um uh it, it had had well it, it, had uh, arranged a um uh, yeah to to, to meet uh d depending on how you choose to find it lucid and or jocasta um uh, it was it was currently jocasta uh, manifesting through lucid's uh physical form um so yeah that is um absolutely uh, absolutely something that um that that uh, we can do um i will obviously say uh to the um for um lucid um you um you do not need to to spend your action to do that um uh as long as you're willing to, to sort of be physically present you can still if if you know um if jocasta takes an action there you you are not tied into that your your action for the day also being at the same action. time but it's you know yes yeah. it's fine i <laughs> thought about letting down my hair and uh, that uh, exhibition sounds like the perfect uh, opportunity to do that because I want I'm, I'm still feeling scared right and I really don't want to I really need to I don't know refocus reimagine myself I'm not a nightmare I think awesome awesome so yeah um in which case we'll start off with that scene as as, uh, as there will definitely be two of you there um so um i mean i think we'll invite the rest right i mean they want just, to come sure 
they want to come, just uh, send a text with one of your phones to uh, Harley if he wants to come. Because if they need, no, that's that's not a good idea. He needs to he needs to have some fun too. He works a very important job. Yeah, I think yeah, Harley could stand to have some fun. I again, I'm trying to look over the moves to see which ones game mechanically would be useful because a lot of them have to do with conditions, and I don't currently have any conditions. And it's the same thing with a lot of the the check the hangout stuff is also a lot of conditions. But I think. Uh, I'll just go with it. I'll go have some fun with you. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, um, and so over, in, in which case I will also then check in. Um, uh, Katie, um, do you think you'll be going along to this uh, uh, art exhibition thing as well, or do you have uh, other plans for the evening? Uh, oh, for the think, time. <laughs> I think uh, Katie was going to do the nine to five, like trying to find. Uh, I, I don't. Know, I, I I think we discussed last like last week that she was trying to get a uh, sort of advertising, uh, uh, an advertising role to to pay the bills. But... Yeah, that sounds that sounds cool. Um, I that sounds good. I like that. Uh, perfect. So. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll we'll come back to uh, we'll come back to Katie's uh, um, uh, um, uh, like advertising gig in a sec. Um, we'll 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 jump in first, I think, to to this um, um, to this scene at the um, at the at the art exhibition. Um, and um, um, what what we'll do we'll just have like a bit of um, free free sort of role play here for the moment. When you feel like you you want to trigger one of your moves, that obviously goes for all, all of you in the scene. Just just say sort of how uh, you know which, which one you're going for and, and and how you think that manifests, and we can do that. But otherwise, we can just have a bit of like um, uh, exploration of the scene. Um, so um, um, yeah, this is um, an art uh, an art exhibition. Um, at this kind of um, warehouse space um, um, in uh, in town, um, there is, um, you know, music nights, gigs, all sorts of stuff here, all kind of, you know, only only semi legitimate, but but you know, um, it's uh, um, attracts a fairly uh, fairly um, uh, wide crowd of different folk here to it. Um, I forget um, what was uh, what what. There was a title um, that we'd given to this. If if someone can remember it, uh, feel free to remind me. If not, it doesn't matter that much. Um, but I, I do remember someone did come up. Oh with yes, it. Uh, what was it? It was um, uh, uh, art, beauty, and noise, or something. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. That that sounds about right. Um, yeah. So. Um, um, I will ask. Um, I'll, uh, I'll start off um, 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 with um, uh, Lucid. Yeah. So, so g give us a little bit about um, what this um, what this place uh, what this place looks like and what the crowd um, of people is like when you get here. Remind me what the name it was. It was Art Something Noise, but I remember. I, uh, I... Beauty. Um, I Art, be beauty. Yeah. Beauty, noise. Okay. Yeah. So it's I, it's this warehouse, and I think at this point they have um, a lot of stuff going on that are performance arts, like a ballet dancer and music and a break dancer, and in the middle of it, um, a poetry slammer. As you can imagine, with lots of music, lots of people shouting their poetry at the crowd, 
it is noisy. It's sometimes it's even a bit hard to make out what is actually going on with one installation and the people who thought they do a quieter thing, they might not be too happy with all the noise, but it is called art, beauty, noise, right? Um, the mime is quite successful because, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, have you ever seen a noisy mm. mime who kind of always had, this mime has, bangles and bells attached to the costumes who everywhere they just jump and they jump around a lot and run into invisible walls and fall down quite noisily cool. so yeah so it's a very very successful a bit annoying to some people who wanted to do something else or or do a What's that called if you throw around a lot of ball, balls, jonglage, something like that? Uh, juggling, yeah, yeah. Juggling, right. They wanted to juggling, juggle a lot of stuff and then this mime runs into their act. But, or maybe that was planned, who knows? <laughs> a bit um, unclear. Cool. So, yeah, and there are some, some foot stands which shouldn't be here. They don't have permits for foot stands. But, uh, you know, somebody will go up and fry a banana and throw some chilies on it and say it's art, performance art. You can take the art with you and then you can eat it if you want, but it's an art performance. It's not a foot concession stand. Yeah, there's no police around who checks this, at least yet, not yet. Perfect, perfect, thank you. Um, yeah, and um, um, yeah, Jocasta, what is the, um, what is the sort of the mood here? um like um uh, what's what's how how are people kind of um feeling overall um people are feeling that um but there's some people that are just here to have um to have a good time and uh, are reveling in it those are the the people who will probably be staying later on when this turns into the um a special edition of the black box and some of the uh uh the the, the more raucous performers uh, are going to come out to um uh to do short sets um but there's there's also an undercurrent here um of some people who feel that something's wrong and they are here to obliterate kind of obliterate that to allow the the cacophony uh, and all of the 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 the, the colorful um, uh, entertainment to wash over them, uh, and uh, and um, uh, wipe out all of that, or at least efface it for a certain period of time. Um, and uh, it has created. Uh, on intimacy in the crowd that might not otherwise be there, um, that people are are feeling this together, and so you have strangers that are talking to one another, and people who are are clumping up and um, having discussions, you know, about about things in the middle that might not otherwise have have done uh, a little bit as people might do in the if they were you know watching a, a big fire or some other uh, uh, thing that transcends however briefly uh, ordinary experience brilliant thank you um and um um harley uh what is what's like the the strangest thing that you see here. Um, it's possibly maybe even that, that kind of stretches the the, uh, um, the, 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 the um, bounds of plausibility um, or possibly something entirely mundane, but just very unusual. Well, to Harley, this is all kind of weird. He's not an, an art scene person, um, but there's, um i think there's a small room like a temporary room they've they've erected these um 
uh, like plywood walls, just just a temporary structure, and there are um, mirrors and black lights and um, strange music, and maybe there is some kind of performer in there. But you go inside; it's a bit disorienting, uh, and you it feels like you're walking. Uh, through uh, a, a bit like a fun house, except artsy. <laughs> uh, and you're not quite sure how long you've been in there or or uh, if you walk. It's a bit unclear if how, how far you walked when you were inside. Um, but it, maybe it's just a disorientation from, uh, uh, from the weird sensory uh, impressions. Or maybe there is something stranger going on. Awesome, awesome. I like it a lot. Uh, cool. So yeah, um, I will give give you um, a moment to just uh, uh, talk amongst yourselves and do whatever. Um, I'll I'll have Josh turn up at, at some point in the short period of time, but I'll give you a moment all for, together first. Um, if there's anything else you want to do, or just just hang out a bit. Um, I think Lucid is very happy to see Hardy, and we'll charge up to them him and uh, give him a banana with chili on a leaf and say look it's an art uh, thing really they say it's art but it's edible art but not the kind of edible art that makes you woozy in the head just you can just eat it and be oh nice yeah um, yeah it's the, it's, this isn't this amazing it sure is something i've never been to a place like this before Neither have I. I mean, and I'm a dream. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait till tonight. Hmm? Yeah, what happens tonight? Oh, uh, that's when the musicians come out. I mean, there are musicians here. Um, uh, but that's, uh, but tonight is, um, is trance music. And um, it'll be loud. And there'll be drugs if you want. And um, it will be, uh, it should be something else. Oh, nice. I mean, I like this. I, not to have, I had, don't think drugs and me would work very well, really. I don't know. I have a weird feeling about this. But, I mean, I'm willing to try anything. Yeah, so, sounds like a good time. Yeah. John, might, John might show up. Who might show up? Uh, John? Oh, you've never oh. introduced. Oh, the, the, the guy from the lab. Um, no, it's a, uh, John's a she. Oh, um, okay. So. She's, um, uh, she's a vagabond, actually. That's her, that's her card, if I understand this sort of thing right. Sounds interesting. Um, yeah. Well, she knows more about these people that we're trying to deal with um, than I do. And uh, I wouldn't mind talking to her and yeah, find out what know, to do. You know, Jocasta, I know we should be on point and investigate stuff and like that, but it is boring. I want to have fun. A little, like, you know? Yes. Follow the dream. Okay, <laughs> That's a weird saying if you are a dream, but I feel it kind of... Look, let's let's just take a minute or two to... Um, oh, wait. Find some... Okay, um, sorry, I'm going to raise your hand. That guy wants hey. us. That guy wants somebody up on the stage. What? Yes, we're going on the stage. We're going on the stage. Okay, That's we're right. going on the stage. Are you coming, Harley? No, and well. I'm, and I'm just uh, kind of putting my hand, my arm through yours, and just not exactly dragging. I mean, it's it's like, come on, you want if you want. Yeah, sure. So we're going on the stage. What are we doing on the stage? I don't know. Everyone seems to be on the stage here. Okay. <laughs> what, do, what are we doing? People, anyway. 
I think um, we should shout some have, poetry. At okay. Well, actually, no. This one, I think this one wants us to throw paint at her. Um, her name's, what's her name, Olivia? Yes. And um, yes, we're supposed to, uh, we're supposed to take those, um, uh, those little squirt guns full of paint and fire them at her. Oh, or I thought you, I thought you said pain, not paint. But I don't, I'm fine with paint. Well, it's probably there's probably some pain involved, given that these are uh, paintball guns. But, um, but she signed up for it. Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Let's let's go and uh, throw paint and stuff at people. That that seems amazing. So we're going up on st this, that stage. And this artist wants us to shoot paintballs at her, if I understand. It's yeah, she has, a, there, she has a backdrop. She has a backdrop behind it and she strips down to um, her altogether. Oh, nice. Um, and we get to. And we get to, we get to body paint her. Oh, I like that. I don't want to shoot at her, but maybe they have these little um, packs of color that you can throw around like at the indian holy festival because that would also be amazing and you could throw it at people and then oh. that would be amazing to hear but i don't think most of the people who came here came to hear you get the color thrown at them oh well. which is too bad <laughs> which is I'll too just, bad for I'll those just, people because i'll have to suggest they... it i'll have to suggest it for one of the nights i mean this uh i will throw paint at everybody who looks like they are too drab Look, this guy over there, all dressed in black. That's boring. You will have to drag me from that from that stage for sure. I'm not stopping you. Huh. Uh, Somebody yeah. will. So uh, that that sounds like you are definitely letting your hair down there. Um, yeah. Uh, um, so that is a. Uh, this one does have a check associated with it, I believe. So uh, when you let your hair down, a uh, check against fealty. Um, so once again, as a reminder, for, for checking against one of your gauges, uh, you'll roll two dice. Um, if you get both of your um, if you get both of your dice over it, that's a strong hit. If you get one of your dice over it, that's a weak hit. If you get both of your dice equal to or under it, then that's a fail. And I can choose which kind of die I roll, right? So if I say I want to write all the d sorry, I'm doing it again. <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's lucid, actually. I'm rolling to normal. Oh, I've got a hit. Cool. Not cool, not great hit, but it's a hit. Once again, I cannot find anything. <laughs> uh, do you need the the rolly thing? The Dice rolly roller? Thing. Yes, give me the rolly thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> my apparently my language. Oh, my English um, I'll just is sorry, deteriorating. I, I there might you have. are. Ah, cool. Thanks. I was gonna say I put them in chat, but they might have been before you got yeah, back but, in so yeah, yeah. um yeah, cool so okay. um perfect yeah so on a uh, on a, on a hit uh you um mark a point of world uh, and uh, you heal a condition Yay. um so yeah um how how do we um how do we see kind of um um uh, lucid um, um, recovering um, as as they uh, engage in this uh, in this um, performance art. I think uh, all the time there was this this way lucid was looking a bit reserved, a bit like I've got to stay alert and be careful. And when they're on that stage, they just let go. They just, they have so much fun. They're giggling. They are throwing paint at people. Some people might throw paint back at them. And they're just, they're just happy that this is going so well. And they will be very colorful when they, when they get uh, finally shown off. But uh, they are really, they're a bit exhausted from the exertion, but also it was so much fun. And the whole, this, this whole unbalance with all this fear that stayed with them after the encounter with the last vessel, that's uh, that's purged itself, basically. Awesome, awesome. That's perfect. 
I can um, almost see a little sparkle go to their hair, but uh, maybe it's probably just the glitter from from the, one of these. Uh, somebody popped one of these little uh, confetti cannons, so it's probably just that. Nice. Um, yeah, um, and um, Harley, what uh, what is it? So, um, what 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 uh, what are you getting up to? Um, uh, are you joining in with this? Do you or, or um... Um, or is there something else you want to be be doing? I, I think Harley starts out uh, joining into this this paint throwing like with with some some childish glee. I mean, he he doesn't really get the art part of it, but he throwing paint at each other is, is kind of fun. Uh, but then I think he he wanders off and finds. Um, Maybe like a dance floor or something, uh, some place where there's dancing. And uh, I mean, his dance moves are like 20 years out of date, but that's they're old enough that uh, that um, they're kind of uh, retro <laughs> instead of just being old. Um, and he he enjoys dancing. He he's he's hanging out with some people there and just. Uh, just relaxing, having a good time. Um, yeah, with paint all over him, but uh, nobody seems to mind, so he doesn't mind either. Brilliant, brilliant. So so are you going to go for um, letting your hair down as well, or did you have something else in mind? No, that's what I'm going to try for too. Yeah, cool thing. Cool. So I roll my two dice, and it's a one and a six. So that's a weak hit. Yep. Um, so on a on a weak hit, you will mark a point of world um, and heal a condition. Yeah, I don't have any conditions, but I mark a point of world, and that means I take an advance two or no. Uh, oh no, so no, this is just a just a point at the moment. But yeah, you, but it's that's essentially it's like an XP track basically. Once yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Okay, once okay. you mark them all off, then yep, you you get an advance. Yeah, we got to rank before. That's it. You, some... you get. Yeah, you you yeah. basically get a, a a rank of void for the first um first vassal that you take out essentially. Ah, oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay. But yeah, yeah. no, that's uh, uh cool. Uh thank you. Um so um yeah, uh Jocasta, I will um I'll throw things back around to you. Um so yeah, were you uh were you looking to to um um uh, to to meet up with Joan. Um, yes. Well, if if yeah, if meeting up with uh, what was his name, Trevor, uh, Josh, Josh, Josh. Excuse me. If that's a side thing, yeah, that can that can just be. That doesn't have to be a, a move if you don't want it to be. That can just be. I something I want that happens, I want to yeah. meet up with Joan primarily to introduce her. Yes. Um, Yeah, um, I think um, I think you're kind of uh, looking looking around for um, for Joan um, here, um, and I think actually you will see her um, exiting from that strange um, kind of um, uh, you know um, surreal uh, hall of mirrors thing. Um, she steps out of there. Um, she is as ever dressed in that sort of um, you know. Um, uh you know armor and 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 the like um which even even for um even for you know the the gathering here is a bit um um out of left field but also at the same time no one seems to particularly remark or make comment on it um as she sort of moves through the uh, moves through the crowd no yeah with your um um uh with your uh, 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 permission, uh, yeah, she's um, she's packing as well. Um, uh, if you think that's appropriate, yeah, that's that's fine. So no, but she's 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 yeah, she's she's she she has a um, right. She's she's got a pistol, um, you know, uh, you know, tucked down, you know, in a proper holster with you know with the flap tucked over and. And snapped down, um, and things like that, and it's all, it's 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 all blended sort of to be part of her, um, her outfit, 
Um, and she's, otherwise she's, you know, she's rather outre. She's got, you know, half her head shaved and the hair long on the other side. Um, and, um, and she looks as if she could take you. <laughs> uh, because probably she can. Um, Joan. Sorry for borrowing your voice. I can't talk if I don't. Uh, and I think um, uh, Joan will kind of turn at her um, her voice being called um, and will walk over and will kind of glance at, um, at, at Lucid for a moment before there's that sort of sudden like quirk of, of recognition. And she says, Jocasta, is that you? Yes, baby, this is Lucid. Ah, um, um, Lucid, Lucid, this is John. Um, hey, John. Who um, used to, well, who used to be in the same castle that I um, still am. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I know the place. Fairly well, I think. Yeah, well, I don't think your paths have ever crossed. Um, I um, think so. Joan used to work for a nasty piece of work named Ivor Sabella. Um, although I'm sure he goes by other names too. Um, and um, and she gave that up, and now she's um, she's just traveling. Um, that sounds uh, like that sounds like my kind of person. Perhaps, perhaps you're right. <laughs> we can we can only hope. It uh, it is good to see you um, out though. Um, well, it's because of her, <laughs> because of her, and I say points lucid points to herself. <laughs> I use they them pronouns though. Okay, it's point. It's because of them. Uh, I say then lucid points to themselves, um, <laughs> which is a tolerably odd thing for anybody paying attention. Good thing no one is likely to be doing that. It's pretty um, easy. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, um, uh, Lucid got me out, um, uh, at least for now. Well, actually we got each other out. That's so true. We came together and we traveled together mostly. Not all the time, but mostly. Mostly. Um, uh, so uh, we're here to have fun and not to think about um, this Le Fever character, right? I mean, I, I can't tell you what you should do with your um, existence, I guess, but we this place is, I think, a place to come and appreciate freedom and hope and differences and noise. Well said, well said. I think you are right. Um, the, uh, so, I'm back to fight, John. Um, I, I know you think that's probably uh, not a good idea, but I can't let it down. It is difficult for me to know what is and is not a good idea. These days, I will say my judgment is not what it once was, which is for the best, I think. But... I can never, uh, if you think you have found something that you wish to stand for and wish to fight for, then that is probably good for you. Um, well, what else am I going to do? Look at that, stare at those mirrored walls 24-7. Not that time means anything in there. 
Um, but uh, we're going to uh, to meet this guy, Josh. And I wondered, um, um, I'm trying to figure out whether he's just somebody we should be pumping for information or if it's worthwhile trying to get closer to him. Um, he seems like he doesn't really know what's going on, but he wouldn't be the first one to seem that and it be a, a fake. And so, um, well, I don't describe him. Well, I think maybe you will. I can I can keep a watch on on you while you are with him if you wish if you think I can help uh, you um you um um yeah your advice is always good so yeah um so yeah, if you could do that, that'd be great. Of course, of course. Mm. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, if you have time, um, let's pop around the festival a little together. So this will be this will be hanging out with Joan, although the effects might be delayed. That's up to you. Uh, yeah, sure thing. So um, uh, I'm just double checking on. She's the vagabond. I can tell her about a dilemma I'm facing. Whether through her advice or otherwise, I can tell you what the immediate consequences of each action would be. Awesome. So the yeah. dilemma, the dilemma is 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 essentially uh, whether to to try and bring this fellow Josh in, or whether to just use him. Yeah. So I think. And um, I can wait until she's had a chance to see him or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think um I think that that is um I um, I'll I'll give you um I'll give you that now and this you know we'll we'll sort of play play this out um well we'll see you know um the the the, 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 the where this comes in uh, once, uh, once you've had, um, once you've had the chance, but um, yeah, what she she will basically tell you that yeah, if um, um, if you um, if you sort of um, do uh, do try and get get um, information out of him um, about the the work he's doing. Um, he will he will reveal some information to you. Um you, you you will get something out of him, but he will he will realize that something is up. He'll realize that there's sort of more to, to what you're getting from him and it's likely to push him away. Um if you um um if you uh um kind of put more put your trust in him and put put him close to you um he will become a minor covenant as sort of was already discussed um he, you you will get that connection with him you you know he he you, you it won't necessarily be you know useful to the investigation in the short term um uh but but you will have you will have been you will be able to forge a a genuine uh, a genuine connection with him if you if you put your trust in him Fair enough. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to pop back over to um, uh, pop back over to Katie. Um, so um, Katie, uh, we um, we sort of move away from the the, the chaotic scenes um, at the um, at the uh, um, at the um, black box and. Um, uh, we find you 
um, uh, in um, in a recording studio. Um, I'm imagining this is just kind of like a um, a voiceover gig um, uh, for for um, you know radio advert. Um, um, what what do you think it is that that Katie's being asked to advertise for? Uh, well, maybe some kind of energy drink. Yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Um, and um, there's you know um, a producer sat in the um, in the in the recording box um, um, with the uh, the engineer. Um, and um um it just says uh okay that uh that last one was pretty good uh can 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 we uh, can we just uh, read that one through back from the uh, from the top again uh, uh thank you uh, thank you katie uh, uh i don't have a spiel ready to, it's fine. <laughs> to go with so uh you want me to just make the roll or uh yeah yeah if you'd like to if you'd like okay. to make the roll so uh when you are this is a um a roll with um 95 it's a oh it's it's an appropriate gauge so you can you can pick whichever gauge you think kind of this this is uh close enough to um for for this purpose um so uh to i mean i feel like there's definitely an argument to be made for infamy here yeah, yeah. um uh this is sort of about um but if if you think there's another gauge that's more no i think infamy makes sense uh so it's a 2d6 and i'm trying to roll over or that's that's right yep yeah okay So that's uh, two and a three. One of them is over. The other is, is matches. Yeah, sure thing. So that is a, uh, a, a weak success. So uh, on a hit, uh, you get to choose. Um, uh, you get to choose one option, uh, which is to either carve out free time to check in with a friend, um, to make significant progress on an opportunity or a crisis. Um, so that would be kind of resolving your issues with uh, with 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 running out of funds, um, or you have time to plan your extra your extracurricular activities, um, and you get fleeting advantage on your next investigation action. All right, I will take uh, the significant progress and the crisis. Yep, <clears throat> perfect. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so I think you get through the reading fine. Uh, you know, you you you, the, the, you get the sorry. Just managed to choke on some water. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, unlike myself, you managed to get through it uh, through it fine. Um, the, the the recording's good. Um, you um, uh, you know um, the 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 um, uh, the producer sort of signs off on the work. Um, he says, "Yeah, uh, uh, nice job, uh, nice job again, Katie. Um, I'll uh, I'll give um, um, I'll give uh, uh, I'll give Kelly a call if um, uh, if we get uh, if we get anything else come up for you. Um, if you're still looking, yeah. uh, uh, thanks for thanks for the opportunity." Yeah, and he'll he'll uh, shake hands with you, um, and um, you 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 obviously get get some some income from that, um, and uh, we'll um, I think with that we'll take a quick break there, then we'll come back and we'll just resolve that um, uh, how things go with uh, with Josh, and then we will um, uh, move on to the next day. And so this we... is a like uh, just a oh yeah go a, for it. a cap cap to that scene. I think like uh, she she what get you know walks out walks out the the studio studio and like uh 
you know, lets out her breath and deflates and, you know, shakes herself because, you know, ugh. Brilliant, brilliant, yeah, I like it. I like it, that's cool. No, so yeah, thank you very much. I will take a quick break, come back in about five minutes time and, um, uh, and then we'll pick things up from there. Yeah, so um, as I said, I think um, we'll just quickly, um, um, I, th I think um, rather than sort of playing the scene out in full, um, I think I'll just um, ask sort of when when Josh arrives at the club, um, Jocasta, how how does the does the evening go? Um, do you sort of try and try and get some um, more information out of him, or um, um, uh, do you just kind of spend some time with him? Um, going to spend some time with him. Is he nice? Yeah, um, he's. Um, you know he's got that sort of um he's a bit kind of um at first he's maybe a little um a little not exactly reserved but just you know um out of um out of his element i guess uh, you'd say here um a little but um he he sort of, he's slowly sort of um uh, warms to the place um and um I will um, totally co-pilot Jocasta for this because I can sense when he is getting excited for dreams and hope and stuff that isn't like his everyday life. And I'm totally nudge her to push him towards that because that's where we, it would be easiest to. Nice, yeah. nice. I mean, I totally forget the mission, of course. I want, I just want him to let loose, let go, figure, find himself in his best, best personality. And that might be useful to us later but that's yeah i don't think lucid is that tactical Brilliant. um yeah and if he's uh <clears throat> if he's uh um if he loosens up and he gets into the 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 ambience of the music and um and and lets things go then i'll kiss him yeah um and and uh, yeah he'll he'll um um uh, he'll kiss you back and say thank you for this it's um it's been really nice to just uh do uh, something excuse different. me is that is that lucid's body who's doing the kissing because I, yes please please let's not let's just not go there because i feel very weird about this because it's ugh, yeah i would like to escort that yeah no 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 worries no worries um but no yeah you you kind of um um you 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 um you you uh, sort of um dance and, and he's he says um yeah it's been um it's been really cool thank you for 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 showing me uh showing me all this um i've just been it feels like i've just been had my head down for uh too long um you know sometimes i i, I go to sleep and um all i see is just you know the numbers scrolling behind my eyelids <laughs> we can do better than that right this is i think um well sweetie there's a whole world out there and right in here and uh, um you need to get away from that you can i mean do that during the day if it's uh you know if it's your thing but there's so much more and some of it's here Thanks. Uh, thanks. Um, it's um, uh, yeah. It was. Um, it was. I'm glad. I'm glad I bumped into you in the uh, in the in the lab. Um, but uh, um, I think uh, for all that I hate to, I'm going to have to call it a night now and, and get back. Uh, I should probably get at least some sleep before tomorrow. Um, but um you know if you ever want to hang out again give me a call um why don't you give me a call now write my number on his on his arm sure thing um he'll grin um and um yeah head head off into the night yeah he says she i said you know i'd let you write yours on mine but i don't think there's any room 
<laughs> uh, Joe Cast has got full sleeves tattoos on both sides. Somehow in this manifestation. Cool. However, however briefly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he will will um, um, head off. Uh, yeah, and yeah, you may now take him as a minor covenant. Uh, you can choose which, whichever um, uh, card you feel best represents him. But if you want to leave that for a moment and, and come back to it later, that's fine. But uh, yeah, you can you can take him uh, take him as a covenant. Um, cool. Um, so, with that, we will move on to the uh, to the next day. Um, so this this will uh, proceed much like much like the one we've just had. Uh, you'll get the chance to take two actions um, over the course of the day. Uh, one to uh, one can be to um, either investigate the um, uh, the mystery um, or to have a mundane action of some sort. The other one has to be a mundane one again. Um, the other thing, um, uh, you, uh, you, what, you, like I said, you can either. Um, investigate in general out in the city, or you can choose to enter into the um, into the um, the castle. Um, when entering the castle, um, it obviously uh, makes sense if all of you want to enter, then you can all spend an action to do that. Um, if not, um, if if only one or two or however many of you want to enter the castle, um, that is also fine. There is an option for the other other uh, characters to join as a wraith, um, but uh, as I say, you do not need to um, uh, you do not need to do so um, if you do not wish to. Um, 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 so yeah, um, I guess I will get a. Oh, I also owe some information from the. Uh, uh, from the research, um, which I'll give you in a moment as well. But um, do do people have a um, um, a feeling if there is more investigation that you want to do out in the in the real world, or if you would like to um, venture into the castle and do some poking around there? I think we almost have to poke around in the real world more if we want to get to this um, this move where we can confront the vessel, right? Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I don't know, but uh, there are all these questions relate to what the the, the, the mask thing um, is confront in person, uncover full details. Okay, that we could do in the castle, but met the people the vessel holds dear. I imagine it's easier in the real world. Defeating enforcers probably not. Suffering at their orders. Well, we need. I think we need to confront confront him a little. At yeah. least. I mean, you could you 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 do also have the option you you by venturing into the castle, you may be able to get some more information about him in there as well. So that is is that is an option. I just want to say that those those both either either is a perfectly valid option for you to take. Um, I don't want you to feel okay. like you you have to stick outside if you don't want to. But if there's stuff you want to still do in the city, that is also cool. We can we can do that. Um, but it's but it's reasonable to go into the castle, poke around a bit, then go back into the mundane world and continue investigating there. It, exactly, that's right. It's it's kind of assumed that you'll probably you know not necessarily try and do all of the castle in one in one go essentially. You can you can pop in, um poke around in there, come back out again. Um yeah, if you if you choose. Maybe we split up then. Some go into the castle and look around there and some uh, stay out and investigate in the mundane world. It's pretty dangerous in the castle, but sure. Yeah, I, I just uh, just thought, I don't know, I, I'm mm -hmm. not sure, because we've figured out that he's recruiting patients and we know that he's testing this drug on them, right? I mean, we could go and look how this looks from the castle side, because if there is really bad stuff going on, we might need some and see some enforcers or. I think we need, I think we need more information about the vassal to really make it in the castle safely. But we don't need to, you know, we don't need to have, you know, confronted him necessarily or, you know, crack the mystery, but we need to we need to get to get more information about him. Uh, yeah, and the other the other thing as well, I will will mention from the um, from the the um, um, the um, 
that that research that you 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 got from the the um um from the labs that you've now had a bit of a chance to look over the other thing that you will have learned from that is that um there are obviously um some results in this that you know some of the some of what's going on with these drugs definitely does seem to be having some um you know um it, they are reporting some successes um, in certainly in just in terms of generally how the patients who are taking it are feeling. Um, th there seems to be some sign that, that, you know, at least from, from the initial results that they are, you know, feeling better, feeling a bit more energetic, stuff like that as, as a, as a whole, how much is, is, is actually because it's the drug is effective. How much is a sort of placebo, placebo type effect, you, you know, is, is ever kind of um, at this stage, a little difficult to tell. Um, but what the, the other the big thing that you you get from the information um, is that they are taking um, significant amounts of um, uh, for, for the patients who have been on it for um, you know a, a, um, a few um, a few uh, weeks or so um, they're taking quite significant um, blood samples from them. Um, and there are some sort of in the um, um, in the, the the sort of um, data that you have. Well, so that you don't get anything more concrete on it than that. There are references to a um, um, a, a phase two process um, that that aren't particularly elaborated on. Um, Question. Uh, the enforcers, do they exist only in the castle or also out in the city? Um, they only exist in the castle um, mostly. If when things start getting um, when things start getting more intense with the um, the, the level of threat essentially from the um, um, from the vassal, uh, it is possible for them at that point to manifest in the city itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I'm trying to, I'm I'm looking at this lift the mask move and trying to figure out which ones. I I don't think we've uncovered the full details of what they're planning, even though we have a, a pretty good idea. Um, we haven't met any people he holds dear, as far as I know. We haven't defeated any enforcers. We haven't confronted him in person in the city. We haven't suffered at his orders or hands, and there's no organized resistance. Basically, we haven't done anything, mm -hmm. really. But the ones we can do in the city are mostly, at this point, I think, uh, confront him and figure out more about what he's doing. Yeah, that's uh, what I figure as well. Maybe investigate him like a bit more. And I don't know. Maybe we need to go and really create a uh, create a um, protest or something. Yes, whatever. Or we should go in there. Uh, I, I think the idea of going in there in the castle and looking around, poking around to figure out what his plans are actually, that might not be the worst idea here. Because uh, I think we can see some stuff over there that we can't see here. And that might point us in a direction where we could continue in the city you know that's kind of what i was thinking as well okay cool then let's do that maybe after we've um had partied out or something and had a bit <laughs> of rest and reconnected with katie yeah yeah sure. so do so do we think we're doing a mundane move first and then going into the castle maybe? Um, I yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to you. And, and you can uh, you can do it. Um, you don't have to sort of do it like all in the same order. If someone wants to do a mundane move before entering the castle, um, they can do that. And then you can all enter the castle as a group. And then those of you that have a, a mundane move re remaining at the end can use it. For instance, like I know, uh, Antus, with yourself, you... Um, you're f fairly um, you know, healthy as 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 things go at the minute, so you you might want to save mundane move when you come out um, and and you know have potentially picked up some more conditions. But um, yeah, if if anyone wants to to take a mundane action before going in, that is cool. 
Um, but if, if you want to jump straight into the castle, um, that's also fine. Um, were we supposed to do the check-in move, the hangout move with each other because we met up at the... Uh, um that is uh that is a spe so that is essentially one of the actions that you can take so oh, right, you, right, though, right, so kind right. of you you Sorry, obviously yeah, you yeah. you you hung out in yeah in a role playing sense but you didn't, didn't actually do the trigger move. that move did, yeah, that's yeah, yeah 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 sorry yeah. no 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 that's fine it's fine we're, we're all still uh, still learning the uh, learning the rope so it's uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have any any solid ideas for anything to do out in the mundane move before going into the castle. Sure thing, sure thing. Does does anyone else have a, a mundane move that they would like to take before entering the castle? Unless there's a way to find out more about this phase two. Um, yeah, that that will probably be more of a uh, of a um, uh, when the shadow moves, so more of the investigation side of it. So yeah, pr pr probably not in that in that instance. Um, so um, um, uh, that that's fine. I think in which case we'll probably jump straight in uh, into uh, entering the castle. Another question, though. Okay, mm, uh, yeah, no, go for it. Because I just read something about spending a point of crew covenant. Where is that? Where would I find that? Because then, then how does this calculate? Uh, that is so. That would be your your rating in the crew covenant, which can go go up and down. Um, uh, ah, okay. With with um, with use essentially. Um, so yeah, that that's that's how that would work. Okay, so I would uh, reduce it from one to zero to give someone advantage on a roll. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think there are some lines hidden here that show one of our covenant moves. There, there's there are lines hidden between sixty two and seventy three in the in the character keeper, and I think oh yeah, one of our moves should ah uh, yeah it. yeah thanks great yeah <laughs> perfect okay um, awesome I'm just gonna see this I guess. Uh, yes, so um, that is great. Uh, what I will do, um, yeah, I will I will quickly close up the city moves for the moment because we we don't uh, don't need to see those. Um, yeah, so um, I will check in on the. So the move we use to enter the castle um, is called dive into darkness. So uh, one of you will need to volunteer to lead this role, um, and you'll be checking against blood. Um, I might have a move for that. Let me let me check my character. No because, worries. Because I, I don't know, but I seem to remember stuff like that. Um, I have a when, move for when you travel labyrinth, which we do not right now. And I also have a portable hole into our hideout, but that isn't helpful, right? Yep, yeah, that's 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 right. Um, it's, okay. Well, it's I mean it's helpful, but yes, no, no, it, it was not helpful for diving into the darkness. No. Okay. Cool. Nope. Then I mean I could still do the needy thing, but um, I do not have any special capabilities to do that. But I can, if you want me to. I'm I'm from there. <laughs> we should probably pick someone who doesn't have many ticks in blood, right? Um, I well, can't... I have three, so yeah, probably not me. Weirdly enough. Yeah, and I don't know. Yeah, right. The captive doesn't have blood, so I guess it's me or Katie, and we both have two ticks, so mm -hmm. either of us. Uh, <clears throat> uh, from, from, from a narrative point of view, I'm not sure Katie knows what she's doing well enough to, to lead, mm -hmm. <laughs> lead this. 
um the other the other for, for, also i suppose from from a um from a um from the perspective of um uh setting it up narratively um as well um um jocasta can um can essentially do the role using somebody else's blood um track as they they um yes so so if it makes so from a narrative sense if it makes more sense for jocasta to essentially guide either harley or um um or or um um uh, katie through that that also works uh, mechanically that sounds great uh, I think we'll go with that because I, I feel Harley doesn't understand this either, and he could do something by by intuition. But I think it's it's better if if uh, Jocasta is is guiding him <laughs> or Katie. Um, all right. Um, okay. Um, who's going to be my proxy? I, I'm fine if if the uh, Harley and the but if Treb wants uh, Katie to take it, that's fine too. Uh, I guess I, my uh, uh, Katie says. Uh, uh, I guess I should figure out how this works. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Um, Jocast is going to manifest as a shade. Um, and she she looks like a not quite opaque version of how she looked in life um as a surgical resident i'll be one that's tattooed to the nines um and she says so the the um the castles behind reality um behind the world um, which won't make any sense until it does. Uh, and then you'll understand what I mean. Um, so for right now, um, uh, you do, you do something like this and, um, she reaches in, she pulls out a scalpel, um, uh, from her pocket and then uncaps it. Um, and she scrutinizes the air and runs her fingers over it and says, you're looking for um, uh, a, a soft point in existence here, a place where you can kind of unzip it for a little bit, like Mm, like um, cutting a um, cutting a slit in a in a tarp or something like that, uh, and you do, and so here's one right here. I don't think you uh, maybe you can't tell, but right where my fingers is, are is a place where um, where we can get to. Uh, the castle. Um, if I were better at this, I could just make a door for you, but I, I'm not. Um, so, um, and she pulls out the, the, the scalpel and she touches it to uh, the air and slowly pulls down. And as she does, reality peels back. Um, to reveal something else behind it. it. It hangs just like two flaps, you know, that were cut in a, in, in this, in a tent um, that's surrounded you all this time. And she pulls it all the way down um, and spreads it out with her hands until it's big enough to step through. And she puts the scalpel away. And she says, this will close up once we're all through it again. Yeah. 
yeah and the, the the there's it's a sort of shimmering like the, the, there's a sort of shimmer to the air and behind it is it, it's just emptiness it's like looking uh looking down into a into a sort of um dark cave when there's absolutely no light at all penetrating down into it it's just almost like there's absolutely nothing there at all um no real sense of presence to it either but it's a strange um and sucking feeling um as you step through uh so yeah if you would like to make me a check against um uh, katie's blood of two jocasta Two dice trying to roll better than two with either dice. Yes. That's correct. Yep. Okay. Or, or ideally both, but yep, at least yeah. one uh, is is good. Ooh, dear. Wow. <laughs> Choke city. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, you do. Um, oh, that's a good point. Does this count as a? think that counts as a, so you can mark a point of world anyway because you have failed on a um hmm. should it be world or should no actually, sorry you'll be you'll be marking a point of void um because it's a roll with a um a world gauge so yeah uh, if you mark a point of void um and um but you as you enter into the um as you enter into this realm the you all feel something pulling at you. It's dark, you can't see. It's it's strange as well because you can feel sensations on your skin, but it's almost as much like the absence of anything as much as it um, um as much as it is something physically there. Um and it tears at you and you all you all feel um strange and cold but more more the the the, the warmth is being sucked from you than the air around you is cold it's 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 not a pleasant feeling at all it feels like you're completely weightless it feels like you're being that gravity is pulling um in multiple directions um at once um and you're not sure that you can breathe either it's difficult to tell um you're not feeling that kind of pressure um or a or, or section of not being able to breathe but but as you try and draw in a breath nothing's really happening it's yeah it's it's not it's not a pleasant feeling um at all um as you for as sort of kind of the as you're starting to feel sort of lightheaded and strange um you um you are suddenly things are you you can take in a breath um you feel um uh, you feel the um, you feel sort of the pressure of air around you again. You feel gravity pulling you down towards the floor. Um, it it probably leaves you all um, feeling somewhat um, uh, disoriented and um, there. But you are you arrive together in the castle. Um, the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to ask um, ask uh, Jocasta if you would like to um, mark uh, if you would uh, like to mark a tick in abyss, please, as you feel a little bit of yourself being just pulled away as you pass through the barrier once more. Um, but you 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 arrive um, in this it's it's and 
it's an odd place. It's it's got that it feels sort of part way between like a space station and a a kind of minimalist modern office. There's sort of long um, corridors that seem to be in kind of brushed aluminium. Um, there's that just kind of soft ambient light um, uh, through here. Um, the the um, there's a, a kind of slight mechanical um, hum in the background, but it almost sounds like it has it has a bit of a tone to it, almost like a, um, um, a the, the 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 sort of sound of a, a tuning fork, but just just merged into this this sort of just mechanical humming sound um, that sort of again seems to just be kind of emanating from from all around you rather than from a specific direction. Um, the corridor leads off in 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 both directions and turns turns different corners um it's 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 again it's sort of pleasantly um it's a pleasant temperature it it, it feels like sort of air conditioned air um and um there is yeah just um a slightly sterile um, a slightly sterile feel to the place. Um, as you do um, turn up, you will see um, a sort of shapeless figure. Um, they look like a... Um, it looks like a person... Um, it looks like a person in sort of a um, hazmat suit, um, but the hazmat suit is like pure, um, uh, is pure white um, and just has, it has like a face plate, but the face plate is also just pure white. It's not, not actually got a, um, um, it looks glassy and reflective, but, but don't, you, don't, you can't actually see a person inside. Um, they are walking down the corridor away from you currently but not far away from you they have a an odd there's a, a kind of almost um stiffness to the way they move um it's slightly slightly jerky slightly stiff um um but yeah um uh, what do you do um uh as uh, so yeah I'll, I'll just ask um i'll um so um katie what's what's yours um how are you feeling as you kind of come into this place <gasps> god that that felt like taking a space walk with a suit what the hell ah it's not gonna be like that all the time <laughs> I this. think I've seen worse. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it's it's definitely yeah. not not one of the best uh, journeys through the through the voyage you've had. But but yeah, you you probably I'm, have experienced worse. I'm just worse. trying to cheer people <laughs> up here. <laughs> this isn't a good space space to stay. We have to get out of here. Can we look, look around? We're here now. And this seems hospitally so. Oh, I, I don't mean yes, uh, this. I, I just mean th this Carter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that... uh, because that thing there <coughs> um, hasn't noticed us, but we, but they will. They pass down here often. Let's and, not get noticed by a thing. And um, just uh, back away quietly. I, I, I hate them. Quietly. Shh. Shh. And we're backing away and we are trying to traverse the labyrinth or whatever it's called. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if... we need to get somewhere where we're a little bit more safe. Sure thing. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, Lucid, if you are traveling the labyrinth, when you lead the group through the labyrinth, um, you. Uh, well, through the labyrinthine corridors of the castle, uh, you. Um, so this one is um, based on 
uh, again, a number of questions rather than a single step. So if you mark a point of void, you roll with a plus one or you roll with minus one if you um, uh, if you don't. Um, if you roll with a plus one, if you've defeated an enforcer or a minus one, if you don't, if you haven't, um, and uh, you roll a plus one, if you've spent some time studying the vassal or else you roll a minus mm -hmm. one. So you have spent some time um, studying the vassal. Um, um, so you'll get a plus one for that, but you haven't yet defeated an enforcer. So you'll get a minus one for that. So, so that will give you a base of zero. So if you choose to mark a void, you'll be rolling a plus one. Totally mark a void. Yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could also um, steer us in the direction of a person's mind or I guess uh, a dead person's a land of the dead. I don't know, would we like to go to the land of the dead? Because that's the problem here with the experiment that some people die there, right? And more than should. So maybe going to the land of the dead might help us here. I think it's a good idea. Let's go to the land of the dead. They're always fun. <laughs> uh, I've okay, got to roll. If you say I've so. You're yeah, the one guiding I've, us, so. <laughs> I've got to roll for it. Let's see how that goes. Uh, and this is now was... um, this is now sort of a, a regular PBTA style roll as well. So it'll just be two dice oh. plus what, what, whatever you. Uh... So we're in, at an eight, even though I'm today I am Dallas dice roller apparently. Cool. So uh, 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 seven to nine. So on a hit. Uh, you will wait so there's there's two different options here so if you're ex just generally exploring um on a hit you reach a place that um uh will tell you something about the vassal um but i get to pick some choices to, to, to determine how dangerous it is however because you are um uh because you're going somewhere specific um you um um you will um arrive at the place you want to go to. So in this case, you will arrive um, in the land of the dead um, and it will be, um, um, it will be kind of in some way an area of the land of the dead that is, um, is connected to, um, um, to, 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 to what you're looking for. Um, so, um, I'm going to ask, um, I'll ask uh, um, uh, I'll ask um, Jocasta first. Um, this uh, this sort of section of the land of the dead that you arrive in. What's the overall sort of aesthetic like here? Um, the uh... This isn't my prison, right? No, no, that's this is this is not your prison specifically. Um, okay, good. Um, but but um, it is it is sort of a, another deathly realm. Um, uh, this is um, uh, this area is um, like. Uh, um, to go, it's like science fiction limbo. Um, it, uh, it is, um, it's got, um, soft and direct lighting. It has, uh, f um, actually I'm going to take that back. It's kind of like a Victorian limbo. It's got furniture that seems to be there when somebody's using it and not necessarily when anybody isn't. Um, it has, uh, you know, similarly with, with servants that seem to flit in and out of existence. Um, some of the people there are doing the same thing over and over and over again. They're, they're looking up the same page in the same book, um, you know, or they're taking out their watch and they're looking at it and they're putting it back in their pocket and then doing it again. Um, or, uh, or engaging in similar repetitive activities. Very few people seem to be engaged in anything that isn't 
isn't sort of cyclic and endless. Um, that is the ambience, the, again, the ambience inside is like that of a, a, a sort of a drawing room in a Victorian mansion, cool. um, you know, replete with, you know, wall hangings and too much furniture and chandeliers and, and things like that. Nice, nice. Um, and um, uh, Lucid, have you, um, have you been to this particular part of the Lands of the Dead before, or is it the first time you've been here? Oh, I think it's, uh, I think it's adjacent, maybe. I've been to, to some parts of the land. But there's a carnival of the dead that is on the outskirts of this. There I've been, but I didn't go further back then. Cool. Um, and what about this part of the, the realm of the dead is sort of familiar to you and is like the places you've been before? Well, um... Like the places I've been before, there are some, most of the places or almost all of the places I've been before, there are just some little oddities, just something that you wouldn't have in the normal world, like doors that are precisely at the wrong place. You wouldn't place the door up there because and there are no stairs that would go to the door it's just the door in the middle of that wall and uh, the windows might be upside down it would have the window sill on the top of the window stuff like this it's it's not immediately noticeable but you would feel the sense of if you were from the normal world you would feel a sense of dislocation without having an immediate uh, thing where you could pinpoint it and say this is the thing with tentacles it's more subtle than that the, the the way the fog drifts here is is eerie because it doesn't go with the wind but there is a slight wind but it doesn't go with the fog it, it's just like like somebody made this place without having an under clear understanding of what the purpose of things were they was just copying it well, I like it. Um, so yeah, you appear in this odd um, place. It's like a, a Victorian drawing room. Um, the shades um, are, are sort of moving around and repeating, repeating their actions, and generally sort of um, don't don't seem to be. So it just seem to be kind of um, moving moving around through this place. But um, um, Harley. Um, as as you come through, um, and as as you're sort of starting to reorient yourself again um, uh, to this this new and, and stranger place, um, the um, um, you will notice um, that some of these 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 sort of servant ghosts that have been attending to the to the other shades in here and as i say they've, they've mostly been just sort of fading into existence briefly to, to to fulfill some task and then fading back out again but you notice several of them start to fade into existence and turn around to look at you all and for a moment they seem to be staring through you but after a little after a moment you you, st you start to see them actually kind of you, you notice that kind of almost attention coming into their eyes uh, what do you do think I just kind of wave at them, say, hello, um, could you, uh, could you help us? Um, yeah, and one of the, um, I think several of them start to crowd in towards um, you, um, and one of them, it sort of it becomes slightly more solid looking still still not entirely solid but more so at least um and um they have the form of a um a butler um uh sort of a smart suit on and um he will say 
what are you doing here? You are not yet dead, most of you. And and he will, his eyes will flicker over to uh, to Jocasta. This is most irregular. Explain yourself. Oh, we're uh, we're just looking for. Um, uh, we're, we're trying to find out this uh, this this doctor fellow. He's he's doing experiments and and they're bad and uh, and we we want to see if if maybe some of his patients ended up here. I think was that why we went here, Lucid? Could you? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the reason we were looking for these patients of uh, Dr. Lefebvre. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, do you know them? Have you, have you, is there anyone here like that? Sure. Um, what I'd like you to do is to, uh, is to make me um, a roll on Drink Deep, which is when you form a bond with a minion of the vassal. And this here is technically not the minion of a vassal per se, mm -hmm. in the normal sense of the, the term, but it's, it's close enough. Uh, so that is yep. a roll with cups. Right. So let's roll. And so, yeah, and this is just to roll <laughs> and add cups to it. Yeah, that's I, I've got a three on the dice, so that's a miss. Yeah, uh, that is indeed. Um, and um, the um, the butler will um, say, "No, no, this absolutely will not do." <sighs> you. Um, uh, uh, you and he'll point to Jocasta. You can stay here. We will find accommodation for you. Uh, the rest of you will require processing first. Send for the huntsman. Um, and and a couple of the other the, the a couple of the other servitor shades um, fade. Uh, fade out um, of uh, um, out of uh, vision, um, and um, in the distance you can hear the sound of a hunting horn blow. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, what do you do? Um, uh, anyone can if, if anyone has a, a, a an immediate reaction they would like to make. Oh, we should maybe hide. Um, it's hard to hide from the huntsman, but we can try. Yes, because standing here won't help us right now. Come on, friends, well, come on. Go, go. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah, let's, let's hide. So is that, are we doing find shelter? Um, Yep, you can. That's 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 an option if someone wants to try and, and find shelter, um, uh, or if you um, um, yeah, um, that's that's absolutely uh, that's absolutely uh, cool. Or if you just want to kind of uh, like try and 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 just escape from this group, but continue sort of exploring this area, that's also fine. Um, I've, what, got where, an, yep. I've got an idea. We could try to just um you know what see clear when you try to read a dangerous yeah. situation um, that might be actually the best idea because just running from the huntsman might be lucid's first instinct but maybe someone else has a better idea sure um so that's is that coins, coins? yeah um yeah, Lucid is the only one who has a plus in yeah. coins, but uh, I, mean, I, I could roll, sure, because I could try to see clearly while I urge you to move because standing around. If we get eaten by the hunter huntsman's beasts, it won't help us seeing clearly. So should I roll? Yeah, yes. I mean, you've been to the land of the dead before. Yep. 
So, so you kind of know some of the things that we That's, don't. That is true. Let's see how that goes. Wow, that goes amazingly well. I've got a 12. Nice, nice. So on a, on a 12, um, you uh, get to um, ask... Um, uh, you get to ask three questions from the list. Oh. Okay. Um, I would like uh, to ask uh, first, what can the enemies here do? Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, the One of the things that you know for certain um, is that um, the, the servants here um, they will have the, the, the they will have the um, uh, they will be able to trap um, Jocasta here specifically um, uh, as 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 a spirit of the dead um, they have kind of dominion over Jocasta um, oh. so the, the the regular servants are probably uh, they're, they're they're most dangerous to Jocasta they they will be able to interfere with everyone else but it's it's um, Jocasta they they can more more severely affect. Um, the huntsman, uh, you will be aware, is is um, yeah. Um, that the huntsman will be able to um, um, uh, will actually be able to to kill um, the living who are here um, and um, uh, you know um, you know c clear up that that bureaucratic problem. So uh, <laughs> oh, cool. Um... <laughs> I guess that answers the question, what should I be on the lookout for? But I'll ask her first, which exit takes me to my goal? Uh, yeah, so uh, what you will see is you've been looking um, around, uh, you've been looking around these, um, uh, you've been looking around these, um, um, uh, the, 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 these doors um, off of this place. And you say that they're all slightly out of, out of, um, um, out of uh, whack, um, as it were. Um, they're all a little bit off off the sort of normal normal structures, but the thing you do notice is that several of them, uh, or, you know, in fact, all of them um, have um, uh, names written, like on the um, on, uh, just above the lintel, on like little brass plaques, um, family names. Um, and as you're casting your eye around, you notice that one of these lintels has um, a little brass plaque with uh, Lefebvre. Um, carved into it in very angular gothic uh, script. And then I will ask, what here is valuable? In, in, and uh, by valuable, uh, I mean useful to getting us where we need to go. All um, of us, including Jocasta. Yep, certainly. Um, so uh, what you will uh, what you will notice is um, a um, yeah, I think actually that's the the that what you um, what you do notice as this as the butler um, in front of you is um, it, you know has has been been doing this. You notice that um, uh, that he has a very large um, uh, bunch of spectral keys. Um, hanging from a ring um, uh, at his belt. Okay. Um, yes, I will share this information with everybody else that we might want to go there, we might want to have these keys, and we might want to get the servants away from Jocasta. Brilliant. Um, the uh, you also get um, advantage when acting on any of those yeah. um, on any of those uh, uh, um, answers. Um, and, I'm gonna, uh, can oh, I can I give the uh, advantage away if somebody else acts on these answers? I, I think that's fair. I think that's okay. fair. I, that's how I usually play those sort of things. I think it's more uh, more interesting that way. Um, uh, and I'll just call another quick break here. So again, we're back in about five minutes, and we'll we'll see where things go from there. So. Um, yeah, um, um, I'm, I will. Um, uh, I will check in. Um, I think um, so. Yeah, you, you obviously these the you have uh, these these servants are starting to surround uh, surround you all. Um, the that you can hear the huntsman's horn in the distance. Um, Katie, um, what's uh, you, and you obviously just had this information re re relayed to you by by Lucid as well. Uh, what is uh, what? What are you? Uh, uh, what are you going to do? 
Okay, okay, good response time. Uh, very impressed. Uh, um, from the the Reaper Commission, uh, just here to inspect your afterlife here, make sure everything's tip top shape. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to provide the distraction for somebody to grab those keys or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Um, that actually, um, that feels like, um, I don't, yeah, um, so I think well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just give you that. There isn't in a particular, uh, there isn't a particular move to to do that as such. So I think I'm just going to give you. Um, uh, the, I think your distraction um, will give someone else um, advantage um, on an attempt to uh, to, to grab those uh, those keys. Um, if uh, if um, someone else wants to follow through on that. Sure. I can I can make a grab for the keys. Harley, yeah, you're good with keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, cool. Um, so, um, how how does this look? Are you kind of going to try and like, um, um, you know, subtly pickpocket the keys, or is this just going to be a kind of, um, uh, you know, um, no? Grab and I, run? I think I think while Katie is distracting him, or kind of getting his attention. Uh, Harley is not very subtly, but but since the guy is dis since this shade is distracted, he's kind of sidling up beside him, and then just snatching the the ring of keys and 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 running for it. Awesome, awesome. So um, uh, this will. Um... Oh wait, you have I've seen your shadow move, Harley. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Something you yeah, could yeah, use yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I can just, I can just uh, pull, actually, I can pull his keys out of my pockets. Uh, when you reach into your bags and pockets, mark void to pull something impossible. Pull out something impossible, something too big, too dangerous on the other side of the world or seemingly in your opponent's hands. And that seems appropriate here. Yeah, no, that absolutely. If you want to, if you want to mark that void, um, then then go ahead. Um, yeah, sure. So, so yeah, in that case, I think that the 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 distraction uh, means that the the butler won't notice that they're missing for uh, for a, for a short time um, as you uh, um, uh, as you uh, take his keys. That's uh, that's awesome. I like that move. Um, oh, there's one other thing, but I'll come back to that in a second once we uh, once we. Um, uh, once we get out of here. So um, uh, you have the keys. Um, uh, Jocasta, uh, um, uh, what are you uh, what are you going to do? Um. I'm going to I'm going to ask who's here in morning. Sure. Um, um, so um, you can obviously feel um, that there is that sense of just low level, even grief isn't quite the right word, but just a sort of like um, a melancholy to the um, to the area. But um, there is. Um, um, one uh one one person um here who is um um a um an older man um uh and he is um he's sort of dressed in in you know modern clothing um despite the kind of the 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 the, the sort of victorian ambiance of the place he he is, is sort of dressed in in you know um clothes that you might might see a man of his sort of uh, age wearing walking down the street um and he is um um he is sat um looking 
there's he, he's sort of sat like in a in a in a two um you know in like a, a, a two-seater sofa type thing um and is just kind of like looking at the space on the sofa next to him uh where it's clear that that, that um there should be someone else there but they're not I'm going to sit next to him and smile at him. And if anybody looks at the, the Jocasta's second picture, this is what that's what she looks like when she's in the castle. Um, uh, what's the matter? Um, it's uh, Mabel. She should have been here with me. She was with me for a short time, and then she disappeared again. Just, just faded away and, and vanished into nothing. Was she? Was she in the hospital? I think so, yes. What's your last name? It's um uh it's um uh, Greenwald. I'll do what I can to make sure that she ends up where she's supposed to be. Thank you. I she was here one minute and then just gone. Yes, I have a feeling this happened to more than to one person. I'm so sorry that your reunion should have been interrupted. Um, take care, and I'm going to try and fix it. But I have to go now. Cool. Um, thank you. Um, so yeah, um, um, uh, Lucid, um, what's, uh, what's your plan? Uh, what's your plan now? Well, we've got the keys. We've got, um, we've got a door. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should use key with door. Yeah. Certainly. So there, certainly. Because, <laughs> I mean, uh, this has, I mean, it, I imagine it might be a little bit dangerous because it has favor on it, but, uh, you know, we're here not to be safe, but to figure out stuff. So let's go. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. So, um, the, as, as you, um, as you start to lead the others, um, away, um, the, um, he said you can still hear the 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 um the horn um uh, blazing in the um in the in the uh, in the distance uh, but closer now um but the the other ghosts are going to uh, the other the other servants are going to attempt to buy your uh, buy your passage it's odd there the the even even here they don't seem entirely um um physically present um uh, there's a, a certain immaterialness to them, um, uh, but um, they are they are absolutely sort of they're, they're kind of swarming around you and trying to to block your passage. Um, how how do you plan oh. to get around them um, or uh, through them? Or I have to look at my character before I decide. No, no worries. Um, okay, so I think. Hmm. You form a bond with a minion of a vessel. Are these minions of a vessel? It's probably the wrong time to go and find uh, forage bonds, right? If that's you want that's to. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Sorry, that oh. does does remind me that actually, um, uh, I forgot to say, um, uh, Harley, uh, you should have marked a point of world for your failed role. Um, if I didn't tell you that before. Oh, okay, okay, right. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Ca carry on. Uh, carry on. Uh, lucid. Okay, okay. I think um, I need to, well, I have seen clear. I think I need to power through basically, right? Yeah, sure because, thing. Because um, I, just, I just need to get to this door. So I will do that. Go away, servants of the enemy. I will not say it like that. I will just, uh, I mean, I, I will just, 
take a few breaths and then just start running at them. You need to get through. And I hope the others are behind me. Uh, can we say that I'm acting uh, on the information? Oh, uh, yeah, a okay. absolutely. You're, you have your goal in mind. You know yeah. where you need to be. Yeah. 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 Then I'm rolling with advantage, right? Yeah, absolutely. That uh, is okay then. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, I think I'm better in the castle. I rolled a 12. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So um on a uh, on a hit on power through uh, you get to pick one you destroy an obstruction piece of scenery knock back and scatter a group of minions or give another rebel a, pardon, a clear path out of danger um so so it seems like an obvious choice here but, but yeah uh, i want to scatter the, the i can think i want to scatter a group of minions because yeah. they're in our way and if i'm scattering them then they're not in the way anymore exactly exactly um you're able to drive them back and um uh, get to the door. Um, uh, as as you reach the door, it's it doesn't even um, it's not even that you have to kind of put the key in the lock. Just holding that that having that um, that ring of keys with you, um, mm -hmm. the door just 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 opens up in front of you, and you're able to pass through it. Um, and um, uh, you enter um another room but the, the i do i have remembered that there is one thing uh, I, I forgot to do when when we first entered the um the castle uh, because i i was uh, i was forgetful uh which is to say um uh each of you um um now has a um um has two two uh, two things that we 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 get to see for the first time uh you have now all adopted a castle form um, so uh, at this stage, I think you're all on one void. So you have one um, option off of the little list of things on your sheet. You don't have to pick from this. It's like any other look, uh, any other look thing. Uh, you, you can choose choose to, to add something else if you would like. Um, but but choose choose one thing off of that that list, to and um, uh, and tell us what you look like. The other thing that you'll also have is um, you will all have a signature weapon. Um, this has a single perk and a single floor. Um, this can either be, um, you know, a sort of fancy looking version of something that you have uh, in, 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 in the real world, or it can be something entirely of your own creation once you're in here. Um, there is on the confrontation moves page on uh, that's page five, there is a list of perks and floors. You can pick one perk, one floor if you um, for, for your weapon. We don't we don't need to go into all the mechanics of that that right now. Um, but but um, yeah, um, I'm, I'll um, ask. Um, uh, I'll just go around quickly and ask um, uh, um, Katie. Um, what what uh, what's what? How how do you look different in the castle now? Uh, I think she has like uh, a very you know. A sort of uh, <clears throat> a leather jacket with uh, lots of different pins and thing, you know, di different badges and stuff in it, uh, uh, representing uh, roles she she has played and uh, you know the uh, qualifications that she gained in in school and such. Uh, just just uh, sort of. Med, it kind of like medals of achievement, but like more like badges, like you know, a person would wear on a leather jacket. Awesome. Uh, uh, and signature weapon. Uh, is there a list of the qualities? Uh, yeah, it's on the fifth page of the um, of the um, uh, quick reference uh, thing. There's there's a list of perks and list of flaws there. Um, uh, on the confrontation moves page, that is. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I will pick those later. But basically, that's fine. That's fine, yeah. uh, basically, what it is is like she has like a holster, like at her hip, which holds like a sort of. It looks sort of like a magic wand, but it's more technological. Nice, nice. I like it. Sonic screwdriver, kind of. 
maybe. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And um, Harley, um, what uh, what do we, um, uh, how, how does Harley look different um, uh, in the castle now? And, and uh, what's, uh, what's his signature weapon? Yeah, I kind of combined these because, because I saw uh, uh, Caduceus. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly in English. Um, yes, was was an option for the for appearance for the castle form. Um, so he has uh, he he appears in the castle with his trusty mop. Uh, but the uh, basically the mopping the the mopping part. Uh, spreads out to become the wings of the caduceus and uh, a couple of snakes appear and wind around it and um, that's that's his weapon and uh, his appearance uh, thing yeah that's really cool i like that a lot thank you um and uh, yeah lucid um yeah, again i i know with lucid and and um both with both lucid and uh um Jocasta, this might be a little different for you i can't remember but but yeah what um what's how do you appear in here in the uh, in the castle and uh, what's your signature weapon um the way i appear i mean it's basically uh works i think the basically the same in castle form um shifts with your growing power and so on it's maybe a bit weirder the forms that we can take i can take i think what what you see is, uh, remember that glitter you saw in their hair? Well, now you see a lot of, it's like the hair is more like electric strands surrounding the head. And there's uh, there's something rather unworldly about them. It's not, they still look pretty human, but uh, there's clearly something very strange about them. Uh, I've put a picture of the ultimate maybe form in the notes uh, so you can look at it. And uh, the weapon signature weapon is dreaming dust. These are some tiny pouches filled with dreaming dust and they will stun and disorient people. But they, the dreaming dust has to be gathered off or sh shaken off, off out of Lucid's hair. So it takes a bit to reload. That's really cool. I like that. That's, uh, that's brilliant. And um, uh, yeah, Jocasta, um, how, how do you look here in the castle and uh, what's your signature weapon? You're muted, Brandon. If you look at her second picture under under notes in row 127, that's how she looks. Um, uh, she looks just like herself, except in possibly color, in, a, in impossible colors. Um, since she doesn't specifically have a castle form, that is to say, her castle form is her regular form, um, is that she's she's more recapturing her original form than 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 anything else, um, and. Uh, her signature weapon is a scalpel, of course, and uh, it um, only works at very close quarters, but it is piercing. Great, yeah, that's, that's perfect. As you might expect. Um, excellent. So, yeah, um, you will all make your way through this doorway. Um, and you find yourself in another it looks it looks a bit like um, um, it looks a bit like the um, um, the room that you were just in it's perhaps not quite as the, it has this um, it, it's odd actually whereas the other the other room had a very kind of Victorian theme the 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 the, the um, this place is has a lot more um eclectic a um um uh um uh you know decorations and, and the like and furniture so there, there's there's stuff in here that's definitely much older than than um than it looked outside but there's also stuff in here that's more modern um probably nothing in here that's like super super contemporary but um 
probably stuff up to you know like um you know maybe up to the turn of the uh, turn of the millennium sort of thing in terms of style and design um um the um there seem to be um a number of um people a lot of these are very much like the shades you saw in the other place they just seem to be repeating the same actions over and over again um they you know are um um roving roving around um and um just just repeating some things again a lot of them dressed in in quite old-fashioned looking clothing of of various styles um there are a there, there's certainly um at least um one figure here though that, that they they actually seem to kind of react to you um as you come in um not like in alarm or 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 anything like that it's just that they actually seem to acknowledge your presence whereas the others all seem to just be kind of um stuck on a loop um it's an older woman um um she's sort of dressed in a, in a sort of um um a, a, a floral dress with um with sort of one of those little almost decorative aprons over it just a sort of small small sort of apron with with lace around the edges um and um um sh uh, she has um like a big one of those big old um photo albums um uh, on her lap and is kind of just flicking through the pages on it she's as i said she kind of looks up as you come in but then then just goes back to what she's doing Well, maybe we should say hello. So I'll say, hello, ma'am. Hello. Um, it's been a long time since we've, since I've had a visitor here. Um, oh. who, who, who are you? Who are, who are your friends? Uh, well, my name is Lucid, I guess. And uh, I'll introduce the others. This is Jocasta, and this is Harley, and this is Katie. And we're, well, we're looking for some patients of Dr. F F Favorus. He seems to have lost some. Oh, you mean um, um, Anton? Mm-hmm. He was always such a bright boy. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, sir, do do sit down. And there, there's sort of um, for 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 a moment, like um, there there's, there wasn't sort of any immediate French here. But as she kind of gestures, um, a um, some kind of very, um, um, I guess, kind of uh, what would we say, probably like. 60s 70s era maybe furniture just kind of sort of materializes sort of a sofa and and a little um a little coffee table um uh, complete with a sort of um, um a teapot on it and she'll start pouring pouring cups of tea so do, do, do sit down please uh um have have a uh, have something to drink thank you Tell us more about Anton. He he seems to be a very interesting person. Yes, um, he he is. Uh, he was um, always such a clever boy. Um, uh, did did so well at school, um, and um, he was he was always so kind as well. You know, always always keen to help people out and and, and do what was best. And um, he was. Um, uh, he 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 uh, um, started to become a doctor. I was so so proud of him um, when uh, um, when we went to his graduation. He um, and um, 
she'll start as she's saying this she'll be flicking through the the photo album and you can sort of see see the photos of um what's clearly um uh, anton as a as a younger as a boy and a younger man um is she in one of these pictures yes um you you, you she's recognize her, she's the uh, mother uh grandmother oh, she's um, a, yeah. um and um yeah, but you will notice that in um, in most of the pictures, uh, you you will see some some sort of earlier pictures of um, um, her with sort of um, you know um, um, a couple and and the boy, um, but probably from you know um, from from when he's about um, um, from when he's about uh, you know um, eight or nine or so, um, the the parents don't seem to appear in any more photos. Um, what happened to his parents? Oh, um, car crash. Um, but uh, um, my husband, we 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 took him in. Um, we 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 looked after him um, until. Well, you know, we we managed to we managed to um, until he would he'd finished with school and. Uh, um, that was that was uh, it was just after he'd he'd moved away to um, to you know start working at the hospital. Um, that was the last time we saw him. Well, the last time I saw him, my 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 husband passed a little before me. Mm. Well, uh, what what ins inspired them to become a doctor? Well, I said he he always he, he always seemed so keen to to, to help people, um, and uh, you know um, he he wanted to go out and help and and just make the world a better place. I think really, you know, in, in whatever little way he could. That's a very sweet impulse. Um, Is she dead? She's dead. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the well, I'm sure that his his uh, I hope that his parents have as much um, uh, respect and admiration for what he's making of his life as you do. Yes, yes, they they've moved on now as well as my 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 husband. I it's probably time for me as well, but I I just wanted to to wait for him and see if I could see him one last time. Hopefully, not for much much longer. But yes, I understand. It's uh, it's difficult to let go. Really difficult sometimes. Has it been long since you last saw him? Yes, it's been time. Time is a bit different here, but it's probably been 20 years, I suppose, thereabouts. Um, yeah, you know certainly from from how old he is. If if it was kind of not long after his graduation that that um, that she passed, that would that would be about about right. That sort of, that sort of rough time time frame. Hmm. Lucid, I think I understand something of what's going on here. Is there anything we can do for you? No, no, it's all right, dear. I have I have everything I need here. Um, I no, I'm 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 quite happy. I if you if you do see 
uh, Anton, just just let him know that I'm that you know I still think about him. I will. Um, and what's your name? Oh, uh, it's uh, Francine. Francine. Yes. We'll make sure he knows that. Have other people come here and asked about him? No. Talk to you about him? I don't think so. Uh, it's it's difficult. As I said, time is, is strange here. Um, Are you the only one here? I, I, I think I'm the only one who's still fully here. I suppose she, and she kind of gestures around. Um, so it's, it's sort of the other figures around here. Most of them are just shadows, really. Now I think I'm, I'm taking her hand and I'm saying maybe, maybe you should think of doing something for yourself now. Going on somewhere. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't think it's perfectly understandable that you want to to see him again. I take people aside for a moment and um, I say, I think I understand something here. Um, He's not, I don't think he's, what he's trying to do is prolong life in his experiments. I think he's trying to bring people back from the dead. I think these people here are just memories. There are ghosts that are kept Yes. Because but he I, remembers them. I don't think he wants to resurrect them. Maybe he just wants for people not to die. Yes. Well, I'm thinking of that is he went into the timing of this is then it sounds like he went into this area of after his parents died. So I think that what's what, what may be driving him is a desire that people not die. But I met someone back there in the in that room uh, full of dead people whose wife was there and then she wasn't. Oh, but, I mean, that, but, but that people move on all the time, like no. her husband and but that she kids. didn't she wasn't there long enough to move on oh she was there huh. a moment she was there momentarily with him and then she vanished oh wow meaning that she was pulled back across the veil that's wrong i mean not that you're wrong but that the thing is wrong so she, she then became Alive again, or I, I maybe half alive or something, or that her know. soul was pulled back and she's not alive or not dead or something. Somewhere caught between, like, well, basically, like you are, Jocasta, in a different way, but still. No. Yeah. I'm doing this on purpose. Yeah, um, I know, I know. I'm I'm, 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 but... I'm here. Nobody, nobody forced me to come back. You just helped me. It's possible. Um, I'm also unable to move on. Um, We're also not entirely certain that you're even dead. 
let's not complicate matters too much. <laughs> yeah, let's let's focus on on this poor old lady. I think Percy? no, but I think what it, I think what she's what she's told us is his motivation. Yeah, and that's important. Mm -hmm. And also, we have something. She's expressed something, which is something that we can we can use. Not every weapon has a sharp edge. The knowledge that his grandmother um, hoped that he would turn out well is a powerful thing. And he's keeping that memory of her here. That is, that is a thing. That is a thing. I don't, and I don't know exactly how to use it, but it's a thing. We'll figure it out. So, so far we've, we've gained two things here, mm -hmm. at least. Cool. Um, that we can use. And um, so another question is, is whether we go looking further or whether we uh, get out of here. Maybe we can figure it out next week. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I think that seems like a good point for us to draw a close uh, to this scene. And um, we will uh, we will um, come back and see, see where you want to go uh, next time. So thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to uh, stop our recording now.